So digging in, Nicholas the Dude. The second base. Nicholas the Dude. In there, and it's 0-1. The dude, starting at second, batting third today, and he's been dangerous lately. Six homers over his last 10 games. Two down and nobody aboard, and we're just getting going here in the top of the first. Fly ball out to left field, and that's that. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Still nothing, nothing. The third baseman, Raven Garcia. Let's go, pitch to him. One ball, one strike. On the ground, right side. Over to first. One up, one down. Great job knowing how much time he had left on that play. He took an extra step, lined himself up, and made a good, strong throw for the out. And here's the first baseman, Hayden McGeary. On the ground, left side, six. Over to second with one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. End of three. The Shuckers have the lead, two to nothing. Let it fly, let's go. Let it fly. The second base is Nicholas. The two. Lines and here's the pitch. Line drive and it's caught. Now back the first base. Xavier Warren. That's ball four. Three. Three. Ball four. Thank you, man. Three. Three. Leading off on the lot box. The second base. Nicholas, not two. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Love the front door slider. The batter often will cheat the hands to not get beat by an inside fastball, and that draws the swing off plane. Nice pitching. On a line for a base hit. And the leadoff hitter aboard. Now he turns for second. Check that. Stops at first with a single after putting on the brakes. Now bad. And that hitting streak he's on grows with that knock. Now up to 11 games. Starting to really generate some momentum here. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this going. Runner at first. And now at the plate, the first baseman, number 53. A little bit hot, and it's one and up. Right through there for a strike. 
action in the pen down there. Number 35. The left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose. Whitney warming up as well. The dude on at first. No outs. Line drive for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The battle. The catcher. Nick. Kale. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Number nine won't go any further tonight, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Number 35, on to pitch here. This game is still pretty tight, so he has to give the bats a chance and keep it close. No mistake pitches. And here's the catcher. Oh, yeah, here we go. First pitch misses, ball one. Second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. The left fielder of the two, Edgar Perez. Three, three, four, four. Take the base. First base. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Belmont, number 34. Shane Smith. We're back here at the Leading ballpark. Off, the Better the now, team. Hayden McGeary. The first base is Hayden McGeary. On the ground, right side. On to first. Leadoff batter set down to open the seven. The right field. Away. Casey. Three. Your attention, please. Now pitches for the Smokies. Number 18. Cole Franklin. We're back here at the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. The second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Yanked that changeup back. Just diabolical. Swing and a drive. Might have extra bases. Around first, hustling for two. Into second, easily with a leadoff double. And he's clearly locked in after yet another hit. Really seeing the ball well lately. He's a threat every time he steps into the box. Next is the switch hitting first baseman. Corner infielders guard the lines. They're trying to keep extra bases at bay. That's in there. It's 0-1. with the tying run at the dish. And we're in the top of the eighth. That one almost got the hitter. Tying runs at the plate. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. That 
That one's too high. The catcher in the on-deck circle. The dude leading off second with nobody out. Grounds this one to short. Into the outfield, base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Now back. The catcher, Nick Taylor. Here's the catcher. Foul ball there. Oh, and one, here's the pitch. And it's strike two. Not sure I like that location. Pitcher might be better off busting him in on the hand so he can't extend and drive one. Backed off the plate that time. Here comes the one-two pitch. Cut on a miss. That's a strikeout. One out and two on. Next to hit, the left fielder, number two. That one's in there, 0-1. With his speed coming out of the left-handed batter's box, it could be tough to turn two unless they get an especially hard ground ball. Nice eye right there. Good job to let the low one go there. Falling behind, two and one. This is a critical moment for this pitcher. With the runners on base, you have to be wise with where you put your pitches. You could see some runs coming. Here comes the two and one pitch. That one misses inside. In this spot, he's probably hunting something up in the zone that he can drive, but he should be careful. If the ball gets up and in on the hands, he's more likely to just hit a weak pop-up. Three and one, here's the pitch. Liner caught at second. Now he throws on the brakes and returns safely to first. That may have turned the game right there. High leverage spot, a frozen rope off the bat, and a critical catch for the out. Terrence Dawson, the next to hit. He's already gone yard in this game. First offering misses the mark. Gut check time for him on the mound. I'm interested to see how he handles this situation. Runners on first and third, two away. That one catches the zone. One ball, one strike. On the inside corner for a strike. Foul ball, still a one two count. Bites that one off, we'll reset and do it again. Got the strikeout. Huge K there. Was in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, and gets out of the jam. Clearly pleased with those results.
Fans are quite a line here. First for the victorious Smoke, four runs on 10 hits. No errors, they left 17 runners on base. For the Chuckers, two runs, nine hits, one error, they left 14 runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please Drive home, home safely. safely. Three! Three! Nicholas the Not Dude the now at the plate. The second base. Nicholas, Nicholas the, the Dude. dude. first and heading for second. Here comes the throw. But he's in there easily. That at bat was over in the blink of an eye. Right there we saw a fastball that was piped and he was licking his chops as that thing was coming in. Great cut. Runner at second here with two gone. And next the cleanup hitter collected three hits in the loss yesterday. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. Nice job to get into scoring position with two out, and now he could come in on a base hit. I'm sure the cleanup hitter is thinking about how he can do just that. Runner at second with two down. And that one fouled off. Way high there. And at second with two down. Fouls it off, still one and two. Runner at second, two down. And we're just getting going here in the top of the first. And now it's all even up. Try to get him chasing on the changeup. The catcher waits on deck. Three and two, here's the pitch. And there's ball four. That is the pitch. The catcher. And here's the catcher, who really needs to start making more contact, striking out nearly twice in each of the last five games. One ball, no in the dirt. Nice job behind the dish. Ground ball to second base and handles this chance. And that is out number three. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, two left on base. We move on to the bottom of the first and there is no score. in the eighth round in 2023. The wind up and the pitch. 
And there's a ball. He's done well so far, but we'll see what adjustments the heart of the order make for him the second time around. That one is absolutely pummeled. And it's into the gap. He turns and heads for second. In safely with a double second of the day. The bat, the first base, Xavier Ward. And here's the first baseman, reached on a walk the first time. Not close with that one. And the righty fires. That one misses. And now 2-0. Swing and a miss. Used to be that you could sit on a fastball any time you got to 2-0. and Not anymore. Pitchers have so much confidence in their off-speed stuff these days. The dude at second with nobody out. That misses the zone. And the count is all filled up. And that's ball four. Now back. Catch it. Go ahead, run yeah, on base. Here Here's the catcher. 0 for 1 so far. Oh, it's ball one. Pops this one up. Foul on the left side. Moves under it. Makes the catch. At the plate, the left fielder, number two, caught looking the first time on. All one there. With his speed, it'll be really tough for the defense to turn two. And at this level, they may even rush the play and make an error. That's what makes him a weapon in spots like this. 1-0 pitch. Oh, this is a critical moment for this pitcher. With the runners on base, you have to be wise with where you put your pitches. You could see some runs coming. 2-0 pitch. Dives and can't hang on. Still able to get it there in time. And they end up with two in scoring position after the out at first base. This is where the PFPs that teams run in spring training come into play. Nice job at first to knock the ball down and keep it on the infield and then get it to the pitcher covering the bag for the out. So up next, Vinny Capra. 0 for 1. Rounded out the first time around. Clips the corner. Two outs, two in scoring position. Top half of the fourth. O2, rocks and fires. That one miss. Gets a piece, stays alive. And the one, two. And another ball. Excellent take. Swing and miss. And that's that. So they strand a pair. On now to the bottom of the fourth. No score.
such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Keeps the heart rate low, maintains focus, and doesn't shift approach in run scoring opportunities. What an asset in the lineup. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Gets the slider in there for a strike. That's a hittable pitch, but not what he was looking for. Early in the count, it's okay to take that. And one and two. Chases in the dirt, slider there. And it's in time for the third out, and that ends the inning. Still nothing on the scoreboard after five. No score. The dude getting ready to hit. Nicholas. Not dude. That one hammered but pulled foul. The Smokies leading by three, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swings through that one. Obvious that he was swinging for the fences. Tough to do it on a pitch in that location. Line drive, base hit. So one on now with one away. He reaches the 50 hit mark. A nice milestone for him and a nice reminder to his team and to scouts that he's a formidable offensive contributor. Man at first with one gone. Now up the first baseman, number 53. Switch hitter batting righty against the lefty on the mound. First pitch doesn't find the zone. If they're going to make something happen, now is the time. They need to cut this margin before the closer comes in. Lefty's still on the mound, but the closer warming in the bullpen. There's a strike. Good eye on that pitch. Activity in the bullpen. Number 51, preparing to come on if needed. Snap throw to first. Back in easy. The dude is the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And now it's even up. Bounces it to the left side. There's one. Double play. Boy, they cannot seem to break through. That's the inning. One hit in the inning, but that's all they got. We head to the bottom of the eighth. The Smokies with the lead. Three to nothing. Fans are quite a lot. First for the victorious smoke.